Time frame, images of a generation. We grew up in a simpler time. We sang. Hey kids, what time is it? We laughed. Hello, boy. I can't believe I ate that whole thing. We cried. President Kennedy died at 1 p.m. Central Standard Time. He's been shot. Lee Oswald has been shot. We fought. We loved. We were attacked. Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii by air. Our flag was still there. Now these memories come to life on posters that can be yours today. Go to HowdyBoomy.com for your copies today. That's HowdyBoomy.com. HowdyBoomy.com. Welcome to the Howdy Boomy Show. Today is Monday. It's the 6th of May. I hope your Cinco de Mayo went well. I hope uh, your weekend with your family went well. You look around today and you shake your head, but I think one thing we can do or the press can do in alleviating the anxiety over these demonstrations all over the country against Israel, against America, taking of buildings, go after the money. We know George Soros is behind it. Bill Gates is behind it. The Rockefellers are behind it. The Pritzkers are behind it. Goldman Sachs is behind it. We need to do a study on these people and put them on the front page of every newspaper in the country on a daily basis for, say, 10 days. A little, little bit about what they do, what they're made of, how they got their money, what they're doing with it, and how they're funding these terrorist organizations. We need to embarrass them. We need to bring them to the forefront so people will stop doing business with them. Show them where their offices are. Show them the money that they're contributing to the terrorist organizations. Show them where they live. Make them very, very uncomfortable. Try to force them to explain what they're doing. Once you get the money out of the way, the rest comes easy. You know, I was watching an old movie the last week, last week and it had some quotes from Harry Truman. And Harry Truman made the announcement on the radio that they dropped the bomb at Hiroshima, which eventually, along with the Nagasaki dropping of the bomb, ended World War II. Imagine making that decision. They killed a lot of people. A lot. Quarter of a million. So now you're the head of Israel. People are trying to destroy your country. <clears throat> Hamas has told you they're never going to stop. They're going to just try to destroy your country. You've got to stop it. You're not going to drop the atomic bomb, but you're going to Eliminate Hamas. Go through Gaza like it's never been gone through before. You have to save your country, just as Harry Truman did. And what do you think the people that are here today would say about Harry Truman now? Can you imagine the demonstrations in the country? Can you imagine if there was a Harry Truman now who solved the problem in Gaza? You see, we think like a, a, a very, very good country. We have hearts. We have souls. Radical Islam does not. They put people in planes to crash into buildings in New York City, Washington, anywhere. They kill babies. Who walks in to a house and beheads a baby? Do you think they care about life? They do not care about life. You have to stoop to their level to get rid of them. Do one thing, as I said at the beginning of all this. It's tough being a, a grateful, charitable person. It's tough to imagine, but all the hostages are dead. Imagine that. All the hostages are dead. Don't let Hamas hold that over your head. They're dead. Go after Hamas with a vengeance, like Harry Truman did, with a vengeance. Eliminate them. That's the only way you're going to solve the problem. To hell with what people think. Save your country. Show some leadership. You don't have it in the White House. They're kissing everybody's ass. Watch the Howdy Boomy podcast on the Howdy Boomy channel on YouTube. Just punch in the Howdy Boomy show. It'll show up someplace. The Howdy Boomy channel, howdyboomy.com for gifts for 
the baby boomer generation, the Howdy Boomy Show, truth, justice, the American way. God bless you. God bless the United States of America. We're going to make this country great again, again. Thank you.